Why hello everyone and welcome back to Uncrewed France here as always and today well we're hopefully gonna get pushed out here so there's a lot of lessons learned and I uh, oh what the it, what it so we're making some units here which are gonna help us out uh, we do need to start getting some income now we do have this and we have learned a lesson of um, basically this is a lot of firepower from the front but it can't shoot. Uh, what the? Hey! <laughs> I really gotta st stop doing that or does he keep doing that for some reason? Uh, you actually have that as well. I'm wondering if there is a because you yeah, know you got trans transmissions, objectives, let me know that, tips. There's maintenance tool, repair bag, magnet. Magnets can be used to reorientate units. Use them to set flipped units back upright. And data banks, uh, they make continuous full data, campaign only. Repair bags, maintenance tool, ammo printer, revolver gun, resource chute, and we're back at the magnets. All right, so. Ah, hello. How are you doing there, buddy? Where, where did I oh, get over there? Get her back over here. Right. Let's see if we can get the, you know, like five of these guys out. Let's speed it up a little bit. There we go. Another one is out and out. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. I mean, you do have a lot of damage that comes from the front there, so, the, yeah. Because so, that's going to be kind of difficult to try and, obviously, master. We might have to maybe change it up a little bit. Maybe. Or just create another one. I mean, these are, this is sort of our basic premise that allows us to have a lot of firepower going from front. And they do move fairly quickly as well. Uh, let's get you over there. I like how you even see the steam coming off them drilling and everything. That's actually... Oh, hi. Kill them. Kill. Kill. Oh, back, 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 back. Right, you go and get repaired. You are... So that must mean that is ammo. The little... The, the, that bit is ammo, actually, because it is above the guns. Which wouldn't make sense for the other thing then. Hmm. Alright, let's uh, have a wee look here. Let me modify. Because it says it has no weaponry. Hmm. Let's get rid of that. And is that the, is that the maintenance gun? Is that the, the, yeah, that's a maintenance gun, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to get rid of this. And the battery's here. So we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to get rid of that. Now, we do need a computer in order for it to function. So we're going to have the computer definitely in the middle. And done. We're going to get rid of this. And we're going to get rid of this. going to reduce it down a little bit. And... Get rid of that and that and that and that. Alright, so what I want to do then is I want to put this here and swing that around. And put this here, swing that around. And then we're going to put that under there, that under there. And then we're going to actually add one of these guys. And swing that around. It Get around. And then we're going to add these guys. There we go. Nope. 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 How is it this works? <laughs> How does the heck does this work? It needs to sit on that, basically. Huh, can it not go on this guy? I'm assuming it can't go on that with it. Hmm. Is it just this that can go on it? How the hell does this work? <laughs> Take it, we need to kind of have it like that. 
and then you can put a gun on it. Now, okay. Store, no cancel end. No, we want to have a real look at this guy. So let's uh, look at this modify. Wait a minute, so does that actually have a gun on it? Uh, where did you guys all go? No, nope, come back here! Back, 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 back. Uh, interface with. Well, that that's a sad th thing there. Get your butts over here. Yeah, there we go. So that does come off and it actually has a weapon rack already on it. With this guy. Huh. So if I was to do this and then this, and if we went to this and modify, and then if you take that off and that off, and then you just put these two on, swing it around, and then another one on there, swing it around, And then we get rid of this, and then we get rid of that, and then we move this back to here. Get rid of that and that. What does that then? Save, end assembly, and if we then produce one of these guys, what does it then look like? You need to get on there. Get yourself turned around. There we go. Curious to what it then looks like. It's two guns automatically already on it. Huh. Interesting. Intriguing. So, how is that 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 works then? I'm wondering, like, how is it you change what is on them? Rory gun, firepower. See, that has the most firepower, so what if we, I mean, if we clone that and then modify that one, how is it you then change what's on those weapons? Has weaponry, can drive. Cannot fly, cannot transport, cannot reorientate, cannot mine, cannot float. What? <laughs> That is, uh, because I, I guess, I mean, that is kind of confusing. I mean, do you have to then, hmm, I mean, they, they can't rotate unless they have that. So drag and drop, so weapon rack fixture. What if, yeah, put that there and then if we take that away. And then we bring the notes there. Bring this out. What I might do is kind of do something here. Let's see. I'm done with that just now. So we get rid of that and that. We take that away just now. We take that away and we add this there. This there. And this there. And then what we shall do is we shall get rid of that. Get rid of that. We shall then put this there. Take that away. And then we'll bring that one into there. And swing it around. Like that. And then, but what we will do though is we'll armor the crap up the front. And let's, uh, hmm. This one. Let's 
So we'll do that. And then we shall do... So it's literally there to do this. Um, is there a, like a PC you can actually... What is it? Does this work between them? No, it goes right through as well. Hmm. Is there a piece that we can get that kind of just doesn't do that? It just kind of sits quite nicely. No. Oh, that works apparently, but something kind of goes between them. I suppose that would. Yeah, that would. That would. But let's see. If we turn it that way, that doesn't work. Hmm. Oh well, you know what? Let's save this copy of Harvester end production. Let's have a couple of these come out. Requires more slots. Now the more slots thing confuses the hell out of me because I have no idea what it means. Requires more slots. Where do we get more slots from? Hmm. Doesn't actually tell you where the slots are. Anyway, let's uh, head out and see what we can do. Let's go, gentlemen. Hello. You're totally dying today. Come here. What do you got on you? Chase him. Where the hell did you? Where the hell did he go? Um. Where the heck? That's a wall that can't get through. And that's a gun. Go for it. Go, 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 go. Ow, that hurt. Oh god, that's a Oh dear. Um. Alright, okay, fair enough, fair enough. We'll get rid of the, the turret, so. There we go, take that down. Go, 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 go. Disconnect. Control. Oh, hi. Um, okay then. Well, we're just going to lose a hell of a lot of units here. Need more slots. Hmm. We did actually take down quite a fair few of them there, I've just realised, so let's get these guys and then we'll get these. Requires more slots. wonder if it tells you, like, you know, no, that's the tips there. Uh, tutorials. Making custom modules, applying unit decals, unit basics, designing basics, and editing, no. Basic unit, no, there's, nope, nope, that's uh, not there. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We'll we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Um, I'll probably look at the discussion page, but we do need to uh, hurry these guys up. So we get one of these guys here. I mean, I don't know if that actually even rotates, but oh well, it doesn't it doesn't. still have that there. How? <laughs> oh well, that's a... Uh... These wheels seem to be omnidirectional because it just seems to be they, they just move, they just do their own thing. I mean that's uh, two guns there. Did I not make a one B2 weapon racks? I'm sure... Right, clone that one and then we're going to modify that one because I'm sure you know, take that way and that way where is weapon rack there we go pick that and we'll put that on put that on done save and and we shall get to them requires more slots I really wish I knew where the slots were because all I can see up here is like oh god hello no, don't chase. Do not chase. You get your butt over there. Speed you up. I 
facing the wrong ways, but it, it might work. We'll see. Okay, that's it. Go! Go! Keep going! Keep going! <laughs> right, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Attack him, and he's out of the picture. Good, good, good. Get rid of him. Go, 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 go. No, what? Get back here. Kill him. There we go. Excellent. Right, we do have a repair bay over here that we can actually use, which I'm kind of amused about. You head to there. Get in there. Go. You go there. Go there. No, there. There, 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 there. Go there, go there. <laughs> Get in here. Over here. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, you over there. Go, go, go. Another one down. And another one down. Right, off of that. You get on it. You get up there as well. Ah, the AI has a little repair area too. Intriguing. Get over here. You get up. Don't, don't you die. If we could just get rid of, you know, a couple of them. Be nice. Oh dear. We need to get out of there. We're not winning that one. Uh, okay, let's see. And that's just going to continually produce bloody units, which is going to be annoying as hell. Are you over there? Maybe you need to just take them all. That's another one. And that's you repaired. You get on. What do you mean unit under attack? Oh. They didn't like that. <laughs> they have learned the ways of what I was doing. Uh, let's speed this up. No. There we go. When in doubt, have more mini guns. It seems to work. Ah, oh, hi. Everybody attack! Ah, the AI actually is... When it's fi Oh, that's actually really, really cool. When the AI is fixed completely, it will move along and add the other ones on. That's actually really, really handy to know. And you require more slots. I'm thinking there's meant to be some area that I can view how many, like, actual units I have. Possibly? Right, okay, let's see if we can do this. Go! Did they just stop attacking that? Looks like they did. Oh, okay. Resource shoot. Armory. Kill him! There we go. And him. See what we can do in damage wise. There we go. And another one down. And there we go. Go! Keep going, guys. Keep going. We can do this. There we go. Excellent. Ah, uh, nope. Go, 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 go. Turn that into repair pad. In we go. Oh, come on. Come on, kill them. We have enough firepower here. Come on, kill it. The there we go. And another one down. And... 
That one's down, that one's down. Another one down, and... Come on, there we go. Alright, let's go over here, kill you. Phew! That took a little bit more than I was anticipating. The industrial zone is now... How come we don't have any unlocks? Up upgrade requires more research data. You got to f Where is it? Maybe it's in the next mission. Alright, so telescopic beam. Telescopic beams can be used to stabilize and prop up units. Having re-established our presence in the area, we can now turn our attention back to learning more about the code. Ah, okay, fair enough. Upon analyzing every bit of information available, we discovered that the systems are heavily defended data banks near our current location. Oh. Okay. Heavily modified or heavily defendable with everything, and you give me two units. There's an uncounted factory near your location. This one is for, we'll need to complete the objectives. Okay, go. I'm liking the sort of the design of the world as well. They're actually really, really nicely designed, which is excellent, which is excellent. There we go, right, so, um, resources, hello, what are you? Resources, ah, there we go. All right, information we gathered suggests that local factions are in conflict. Perhaps they are fighting over possession of the data banks. That probably makes sense. What is that? Heavy pellets. Say what now? Get the heavy pellets. Uh, what's this? Explosive lab? Oh, okay. Well, we'll make that a repair bay. No, it needs armory. We'll make that an armory. <laughs> And we shall get a couple of these guys coming out. Because we do need to get some goodies going. I'm guessing the heavy pellets are for explosives. That would somewhat make sense. Let's speed you up a little bit. There we go. So you have your, your economy is basically based on high. <laughs> Not on a high, but hello. Go away. Shoo. <laughs> Oh, wait. oh god, there's more than one army here. Holy crap. Um, guys, get around here. Guys, get around here. No. Go away. Shoo. Out of here. Get out of here. Alright. Um, get over here and heal. Can I build another one then? It requires more pellets. Okay, never mind then. Guys, go and get resources because we do need them as quickly as we possibly can. There we go. Excellent. They're digging away there. Uh, should I be worried that there's like nuclear canisters sitting around these pellets? Don't know if I should be worried or not. Let's see. If we get five of these guys, let's speed this up just now. Bring that over, bring that over. How much pellets do these cost? 275. God dang it, go away. Shoo, whoever you are. Bye bye, get out of here. Scram, shoo. Out. <laughs> it's like out, now. Right, there we go, another one down. I like how the, it's like the AI seems to know what to do. Like you, you select the one patch, but they all go and collect resources in different ones as well, which you rarely ever see from a lot of RTS games. Oh, for the love of God, there's another one. Okay, there's more of you. Uh, we are going to need... Let's get one of you guys down. Kill him. If possible, kill him. Speed that up. Oh, seriously? Now get yellow coming back over at his plea. Go away, shoo. Right, you guys get over here, over, go. He can deal with that, don't worry. He can definitely not deal with that. Uh, we could use the, another one of these, no. Nope. I'll be fine on that actually. 
It seems to be it is kind of, as long as you give it a joint, it will actually turn, so that's actually good. They're just shooting as they casually go back and forth, you know? Don't you dare chase. What we got here? Defend, hold, pursue. Now, we're going to change these all to hold. Right, okay, so we do, we kind of get up with them. Like, that does seem to actually work just fine as long as you give it a point to turn on. So that's actually something to bear in mind, because then we could actually do this, and then we could modify this guy so that the guns can actually turn, which would be nice. So we could get rid of that and rid of that, and then we can jump into this. Oh, we have... Oh, there's new stuff. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh... Okay, we're, we're we're making a tank. Just just pointing that out. We're making a tank. <laughs> Let's add that, and then we'll add that. Then we'll add that. It would be nice to be told there was new things, you know. It, where did it... No, we don't need it to be up on its side like that. And then we'll add that. And I notice it's got little slots at the side as well. Oh, that is really really cool. What was that? Telescopic beam. Uh, what the? Cannon? Okay, fair enough. That uh, would make sense. I mean, can you add more than one computer to it? Primary computer, please use auxiliary computers. Don't think we have any auxiliary computers yet. I mean, if we go systems, no, we still only get that. Probably do need a, a magnet, though. A magnet would be uh, probably beneficial, it seems to be, for everything. But there we go. That is that done. It does only allow weapons to be installed two units at the moment, so... Let's see, propulsion... We've got that as well, which we probably want to look into do adding. Hmm... I mean, the weapon rack obviously is that thing, but we, what would we happen if we armoured hull... Are they able to turn on that? I'm curious if they can. Like, if that can turn on that point? Or it needs one of these, which actually I'm thinking it's probably going to need one of those, to be fair. Or we could just have the, like, tubing. Would uh, that work? Put that there and that there. And then we could put the cannons. Wait, there's more? Grenade launcher? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, we're going to swing you that way. Oh, jeez. That is, uh, that is rather big. <laughs> let's get rid of that, and because that, that, I don't want it to look odd either. Um, let's see, so structure, let's see. Oh, there's some plates here. What, can that, uh, you could do that, and it, oh, okay, that actually is kind of good. Could do that then. And we do have these sandwich plates, and that allows you to kind of basically do this. And then we could put the cannon on the front of that. I like things to look nice as well, you know? And let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. We do have these guys. Clone of armoured plate. Clone of light frame. Isn't that just armoured plate? But that looks different. Like, it definitely is different in some form. It's curved. I wonder if you could actually... Will it allow me to place with that being a different gun? No. Never mind. Never mind, then. Never mind. Um, well, I mean, obviously it's like that. So, let's uh, save this. This is the first trial. First trial is now a cannon. Needs explosive lap. Dang it. Kind of... I should have expected that. Explosives lab, please. Oh, hi. Oh, you have a pretty powerful. Hey, you have a l too much power. That's not fair. Although that's armor plates on top of them, I've just realized it's like you've got the wheels in an armor plate and on top. All right, okay. Can I have a cannon? That'd be nice. And this does actually turn on that point. So it makes a weapon rack itself. Interesting. Intriguing. 
I mean, what we could do is we also need one of, let's say, oh, once that's produced. Oh, look at that. That is cool. This is where it doesn't work. <laughs> 27. That doesn't get much bullets. That really doesn't get much bullets. I mean, nope, 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 nope. Let's do this. And new assembly, begin assembly. And we do need to have, where is it? So the ammo printer. So we're going to need the, the ammo printer. Let's see. What do we want to start with? So I do want these. I mean, it does look like that's just connected via frame, which is interesting. What if we actually do with these? I don't want a wheel. What if you do it with these? Can you? No, you don't want to turn, do you? I suppose you don't really have a point to turn on. Alright, so we'll probably just jump in and we'll get 2 HP, 2 HP, 1 HP, 6 HP, 2 HP. Alright, there we go. And put that that way. And another one. And uh, another one. Another one. <laughs> Just add four of them. And let's see. Now we do need to have wheels, but there is these wheels that we could test out. Let's see. And um, right, so we're not gonna have it like that. No, we're not gonna have it like that game. <laughs> and we probably want to put in these guys. Because these are hull that adds actually quite a bit of significant weight to them. I mean, you, what you can actually do is you can also clone them. So you can duplicate the selected. Like, you could build something and it's like, right, I want to have that doubled. Which is kind of good. Which I probably will be using as we go along when it's get to the sort of bigger crafts that we can put together. I just realized I don't need this as big as that. Get rid of them. There we go. And then we shall get the armor, armor printer thingy. Probably want to, yeah, that should actually turn on that point, but I'm not entirely sure it will. Let's see. Where is... Need this. We need to go there. I would like there to be more music in the game because it seems to be it kind of ticks in when you are battling, but that's about it. And it would be nice to have a little bit more, but obviously that might be something that comes as it goes along in development. There we go. Ground propulsion. Shoot there. Oh, this is looking nice. There we go. And it just reminds me very much of Warzone 2100 for building your own units and everything, which is really quite nice. And we'll put you on the front there. There we go. And then we'll put the... Where is it? This guy. And then one of these. It's going to be the ammo printer. There we go, done. We do need to put in the other bits and bobs though, because it does need a computer. You know. And it does need some battery power. I love how it runs on batteries. It's kind of amusing system, right? So, battery, let's put this in. Um, shove on the back just now. Actually, no, don't put that in the back. Need the magnet on the back. Not on the bottom. Not on the bottom. There. There we go. And we need the battery, which can go. Could it be defendable there? 
I'm hoping it would be. I mean, what we could actually do is, like, you know, place these here. No, not that. Because we don't want these actually going into fight. Eh, you know what? We'll do that. So, Unit 5 is going to be the, the ammo resupply. Save that, end assembly. So if we do this and then click on this, should get one out then, right? Wait, how many units does that... Oh, cost 10, and it weighs an absolute bloody ton. There we go. Oh, look at that little guy. Uh, ha. Huh. <laughs> he just went over it was like uh, um well that could be <laughs> I love how they go over and fix each other wow that cannon does some damage holy crap and he's giving some ammo to there I'm wondering of something no you get back here yeah, they do turn. Ah, that's actually really, really good. Hey, guys, 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 get back here. Right. Um, use. I'll go over here. We will have someone working on the, the other pellets. So use over here. Probably need to recycle you. And change your guy up a little bit. <laughs> uh, modify. Because I believe the, the, the problem is gonna be the actual thing because it's not actually been well steam put so let's get that done and then we'll put this in swing that around why won't why won't that suddenly fit nope get rid of that I think it's because they're slightly closer together. Oh well, oh well. Um, let's hope this works and you don't fall on your face. And switch you around, there we go. Add on your wheels so you can actually move. And move these back slightly. Maybe get rid of that and that, to be honest. And we shall add the batteries into the back. And put this on the back. Hmm, do we want anything else? I mean, he doesn't really ha need anything else. So let's save this and then we'll end that and then we'll then make another one. See if he doesn't fall on his face anymore. I'm tempted to do so because obviously that is a free wide, but it's like adding two cat. What is under attack? Kill him! Go! I'm very intrigued to seeing how this would work out. But guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. So thank you very much for watching this episode on Crude. If you want to see something built, like me try out something. Uh, that's not meant to be there. No! Ow! He doesn't have much. No! Um, what the? I wonder if I should change that gun to the front. Oh, they have multiple cannons. That is not good. So I'm noticing it puts its own little rack in there. So that's okay then. That's definitely okay. This thing needs to be... Like, you do need to... The center mass needs to be sort of taken into account. Which is fair enough. What the... That looks like something at Mario. <laughs> So see you all in the next one.